Again. First, I went to the grocery store. What'd you buy? Quarter milk, loaf of bread. Well, I suppose if I checked in your kitchen, I would find those items, wouldn't I? Undoubtedly. I'll do that. What then? Went to the cleaners, picked up a pair of pants, dark blue. Go ahead. Then I went to the wharf, took a short sail with Eden. To go over the rainbow to find a pie in the sky. I'll tell you what you did. You went in your bedroom, you jumped out the window, met Eden at a prearranged place in the high tail of the sea Kelly. Did you meet her? No, I didn't. You wouldn't tell me if you did, would you? No, I wouldn't. I think I'll throw you in jail. You can't, because you got to prove that I did something wrong, Keith. Can you prove why you were this last two hours? I don't have to. <laughs> well, 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 well. I'll just keep you here until you tell me. Where is the Catwell girl? You mean Eden? <laughs> well, Keith, if the public knew how you were throwing their money around, Actually, I may just hold a press conference and tell him myself. You okay, Cruz? Never been better, Mason. If I were you, I'd advise my client to cooperate. He's in big trouble. That trouble with a capital T? What are the charges? Obstructing justice. You have evidence. I had him under surveillance. He jumped out the window and left for a few hours. I repeat, you have evidence that my client obstructed justice? He constructed an elaborate plot to lure me out to the casino. I made contact with Kelly. I repeat. Oh, come on, you're in on this, too. You're not getting through with it, you know what I mean? I'm going to stop you. If you're uh, through questioning my client, Keith, I'd appreciate your releasing him. Hell, I will. I'm going to arrest him. Do I <laughs> have to remind you of the consequences of false imprisonment? If you did that with no grounds whatsoever, I'd file a civil suit against you, take you for everything you're worth, probably get you kicked out of office again. Wouldn't I like that? Get out of here, the both of you. Steele. You ever get in my way again? One way or the other, I'm going to get some proof. I'm going to lock you up. And that is a solemn promise. I heard it before. I said it before. You'll say it again. that. You want to tell me what's going on? As you heard, Eden and I went and saw Kelly. You saw her? Yeah, she's fine. But she's got this crazy idea that she's not leaving town until she sees her family again. She's adamant about it. So against my better judgment, I came up with this little plan in which you, my friend, are going to play a big part. Come on. District Attorney's Office. Just a moment. Yeah, put her on. What do you got, Gina? I'm sure something happened while we were stuck out on that rig. I think Eden and Cruz managed to contact Kelly, and now the rest of the family's trying. Hey, Sam. Treacherous. Meddlesome tramp. Are you spying for your lover? Or is he your eunuch? No, I was just talking. You're just trying to destroy my family. Like you have been for all these years, ever since I laid eyes on you. Look, what do you expect me to do? You, you cut me out of this family. I have to make friends on the outside. Vipers don't have friends! They just have praise, all they have. Don't you understand? Cece, just calm down. Calm down. Calm down? You haven't got an ounce of decency or compassion in you. Somebody is it too much to give a damn about whether you or you have. Give us the tape just to have a moment with Kelly. I'm like a 